Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Pixar. We're over here, right at the edge of the map, heading into the snow biome. We're looking for that Quetzal today on our gargoyle. And we are literally at the edge of the map. So we'll be using him because he can be stood on. Got like a stepping stone while he's still hovering in the air. And Quetzals tend to flee as soon as you shoot them. So the only thing is, we gotta make sure we're high enough up off the ground because he'll try to find somewhere to land on if you're close enough down. But we should be, I think this is about a good height. I did bring the glider suit in case we get dismounted. Yep, see? We're gonna have to somehow get the Quetzal up way high to be able to do this. Let's go ahead and land real quick. Oh, not in the hole. There we go. So that's gonna be the hard part, man, is trying to get a good, figure out the distance that we need to be up out of the air. So I think what we'll do, find the Quetzal, first of all. Gotta wait for it to spawn in, man. Really weird spawn mechanics in this game. But then we'll tag it off the ground and then try to follow it. And hopefully it'll work out. It should be up around here. We'll give it a minute for it to spawn in. And somehow we need to get it to like gain altitude. The higher it can go, the better. That way it'll work out for us. And we are starving to death. We should keep an eye out for some little penguins while we're over here too. Little buddy man, still by himself over in that one little penguin enclosure. I don't see anything over here. Really sucks that our snow biome is stopped right at the edge of the map, but we can't explore any more of it. Oh, there's a Quetzal there, man. Dude, he like literally spawned in right in front of us. What level are you, buddy? 37? Ah, uh, it's a little low. But we don't know what his weight and uh, capacity is and stuff like that. So let's go ahead. We'll get up high a little bit, get ahead of him. Got to keep him in render distance, though, is a thing. And get him to stop flying. Nice. Yep, there we go. And I did bring Tranks in the... Oh, we got him. Nice. In the gun. So now he's got to follow him. Or actually, we need to let him get out of render range, and he'll stop moving. Actually, he's coming back for us, isn't he? Yep, let's stop here. Should be able to get another shot on him. Nice. Could we get a third one? Oh, he's moving. Hard to hit him when he's moving. Yep, so see, as soon as he gets out of render range, he stops. Dude, that is awesome, man. Helps us out a lot. So that's, what, three? Not sure how many it's going to take for him. Oh, nice, he's down. Oh, wait, is he? Oh, dude. Uh, <laughs> thought that was it. I didn't make a saddle for him yet. Oh, do not go into the Golden Realms. Dude, that would be the worst place for him to drop. But I figure we put him in a fixed block, take him back to base where it's safe, and then we'll worry about getting a saddle for him. This gargoyle's moving a little bit more than I'd like. Say, well, let's go this way. That way, when he goes to run, we'll force him back over there to the grasslands. I hope he's not losing his torpor every time he goes out of render range. Dude, the gargoyle! It's like moving. Oh, we got him still. Oh, I was going to say, he didn't flee. He's done that a couple times to me. A little bit closer to him. Oh, he dropped that time for sure. Nice. And I didn't see anything over here besides some pterodons, so we should be okay. I only got a couple regular bullets. Let's go ahead and load those up just in case. And I don't know if he eats meat or berries. You gonna reload your gun, man? There you go. Wait, why is it not? There we go.
Wait, passive? That was scared of me. I thought it said it was like a passive tame. Let's put both in. You can just sit down, man. You did a good job. Appreciate it. So it looks like it's going to be a level 37. Health is 8,500. Stamina is 1,200. Weight is 1,248. So that's good. It's high. I was hoping it was going to be at least high enough for using it for ores. And damage is 120%. Movement speed is a normal 100. Was this torpor going down fast? Oh, it is. Oh, dude. I did not bring any narco berries. Might be alright. All depends on how much he gets off of one feeding. We kind of need to keep an eye out for any dillos or anything. I don't think they'll mess with it. It's actually pretty calm over here. There's a high level... Oh, there it is. See, there's a high level pterodon there. What's up, dude? Go ahead and land. I need to get you back to base. Oh, we... <gasps> we can't put him in a pix block. Well, you'll be following us then. Oh, we need to get you a saddle. Oh, you know what? That might cause some issues. So what I was planning on using him for is using the Mega Rock Dragon to harvest and then load everything up into him. But if I can't put him in a pix block, I'll have to leave him just sitting out. And that's kind of a... Ah, oh, man, I don't know. We'll have to play with it and see. We'll be doing that in the next video. We'll take him over. I need to get a bunch of stuff. I need to get a bunch of copper. Which would be easy to test on. And then I need to get some stuff from the Doomlands. Some more of the steel. And probably some silver. And a whole bunch of iron. I think we're running pretty low on iron. It's either iron or copper from whenever we were doing the rifle. Or the shotgun. And trying to upgrade all of our parts. But we'll see. Let's get him back to base and get some saddles made. And see what the platform saddle is. How big that's going to be for him. She flies pretty fast. Almost keeps up with the gargoyle in terms of speed. Dude, I am really running out of space here, man. There's so much that I can't put into a pix block. It's going to start causing some problems until we expand. Oh my gosh, you're like right up on us. Land right there. Can you land? Or just hover. Hover's fine. <laughs> Whatever you want to do, man. All right, let's see what we got for Ingrams. So there's a regular one. That's going to be iron, fur, and hide. Ooh, and there's a platform. We'll make one of those two. It's all the same stuff. And that was the wrong button. They are way too close together. I'm just saying. Let's take two stacks of everything, because I don't remember how much it was. Am I out of iron? Oh my gosh, I'm out of iron. See, this is what I'm talking about, man. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Please tell me there's something in here. There's not. Dude. Um... Hmm, well, that's interesting. Iron, where's our iron close by? How much weight have you got? You got enough. Stay there, man. We're gonna head right over here to... Well, under the blue obelisk. I think there's some iron there. And I think we need to get enough. If we can just get enough for the regular saddle, we can bring him out and get some more, and then build the other one. I'd like to take a look at both of the saddles today. So, yeah, right over here, under this... Sulfur rock. There should be some iron. Unless I mined it all. Nope, I see some right there. Nice, nice, nice. I don't know how much we can get with a gargoyle. Should be able to just fill my inventory up and call it good, right? He's got more than I do. Oh, actually, yeah, we should be able to get plenty, man. Should be able to get plenty from both saddles. I don't want the sulfur. Um, let's get just a tiny bit more, and then we'll call it good. Cool. Let's head back, throw it into the smelter, and then get these saddles made. And yeah, in the next video, man, I'm really going to have to do some resource harvesting to try to stock up again. I need to take a look at some more storage. There is that automated storage that opened up for us. Maybe we'll look at that after the video for the Mega Rock Dragon, because... I don't know. It all depends on how much it stuff holds and stuff, and, and if it makes it easier for getting resources and stuff crafted up. Alright. 
Hang tight there, man. Let's make a bunch of that. And then we can actually let's take this and throw it into him for right now. Save us some spots. And I needed to look at our generator too. I don't think I'm even using it for much other than for the fridges. Oh, you got plenty, man. You got plenty of gas. Sorry, man. I did not find you a friend yet. I looked. I did look. I didn't forget about you, though. <laughs> Poor dude, man. Alright, this is going to be a few minutes, and then we'll come back and get these made up. we got enough to make one, at least. Let's make this one. Wait. Wrong button, man. There we go. Oh, we can actually make both now. I thought I needed a lot of iron. Oh, I do. 112. All right, so there's the first one. And we're still missing a little bit of iron, which we might have enough now. And we do. Awesome. We'll let that keep going. That'll give us a little bit of iron. Let's get rid of these extra resources, and we will do some testing. Yeah, see, man, I'm at like 144 of 150. I got so much junk in here, and I don't really want to get rid of any of it. I mean, this, I could probably get rid of because... Let's not talk about it, man. It was a huge disappointment with the minecarts. All right, dude. You comfortable? You crushing my little hut there. I'm just saying. You're a big boy. Or girl. Is it a boy or girl? I don't know. It's a female. Can we, can we get on you? Can we... There we go. And we're off. Nice. It is a very large bird. And how's the speed on it? Fairly well, fairly well, not too bad. Let's find something to smack around. Do our usual testing. 143, that is not too bad. I'm not gonna put any points into damage. It's gonna be purely for weight. So 1248. 1310, so what, 70 points? That's not bad, let's put one into damage. I just wanna see how much it goes up. Yeah, not not much. Well, I guess it depends on what you bite because that was two different numbers there. Probably gonna put a little bit into health. It's at 8,500, 8,600. Uh, we'll probably get up to about 9,000 or so, maybe 10,000, just so it'll be able to protect itself. Well, not protect itself, but live <laughs> through a little something. And does this thing eat? Is it meat or berry? I don't know. I'll have to look it up and see. Oh, I put it into damage. I meant to put it into weight. I'm so used to pumping everything into damage. And does it get any weight reduction? Let's get a little bit of wood and stuff. Just to see if it gets a weight reduction in anything. I don't think they do. It would be nice if it did. Alright, so this weighs... 6.8? 6.8. At least on wood it doesn't. We'll test out the other ones as we go to do mining in the next video. So, well, we're kind of stuck in it now. There we go. So that's that's fairly big. I'm guessing it's kind of like art with being able to build a house up here and everything. It'll make you a little nauseous and seasick, but it's good for putting stuff on. Might be able to put some forges and stuff on here. Do some smelting while we're moving. I don't know. I like to play with it some. I think I like the other saddle better, though. Oh, and there's a saddle for the Bronto we tamed. Is it called? I forget how you how you name that thing. That's a stego. That's that one. I think it's on our industrial, right? Oh yeah. So right there. So there is a platform saddle for that as well. We might as well unlock it. Don't know if we'll ever use it. It's kind of like the Ketzel's one. It's good for a mobile base. And the Piracer. I think it's called something else in this game, though. It should also have a platform saddle to build a base on. But it's getting towards nighttime. 
We got us our Quetzal. In the next video, we're going to take the Mega Rock Dragon out and try to do some tandem uh, mining with these two. Use him for getting the ore and use her for shuttling it back. I'm hoping, really hoping it works out. It'll make life a lot easier. Going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.